Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Dr. Rajeshwar from YR PharmaTube. In the previous video, we learnt the classification of drug metabolism. If you did not watch the video, hit the i button on top right of this video to watch it. In this lecture, we shall try to understand the first type of phase 1 reactions that is the oxidation and the various types of oxidation reactions. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to understand the definition of oxidation with some examples and to characterize the types of oxidation reactions whether the oxidation reaction is catalyzed by the cytochrome P450 enzyme or by other specific enzymes. Before going to understand the oxidation reactions of drug metabolism, let's take some key notes to oxidation and its definition in chemistry. Oxidation is the loss of one or more electrons by an ion, atom or a molecule in a chemical reaction. When oxidation occurs, the oxidation state of the chemical species increases. The opposite process is called the reduction which occurs when there is a gain of electrons or the oxidation state decreases. For example, a reaction between hydrogen and fluorine gas forms hydrofluoric acid. In this reaction, hydrogen is being oxidized and fluorine is being reduced. This spontaneous reaction releases 542 kilojoules per 2 grams of hydrogen because the hydrogen fluorine bond is much stronger than the fluorine fluorine bond. The reaction may be better understood if it is written in terms of two half reactions as shown here. The first half reaction states that the oxidation reaction converts hydrogen to protons. And the second reaction is the reduction reaction which converts fluorine to the fluoride anion. The half reactions are combined so that the electrons cancel. The protons and fluoride combine to form hydrogen fluoride in a non-redox reaction. The overall reaction is hydrogen plus fluorine gives rise to the hydrogen fluoride. Note that there is no oxygen anywhere in this reaction, which means that oxidation does not necessarily involve oxygen atom. Originally, the term oxidation was used when oxygen caused electron loss in a reaction. Oxygen gas was considered as the first known oxidizing agent since on its addition a compound typically loses electrons and increase in the oxidation state. For example, when iron combines with oxygen to form iron oxide or rust. The iron is said to be have oxidized into rust. The chemical reaction is as shown here. It was also realized that oxidation and reduction occur together meaning that one molecule loses electrons which is said to be oxidized and another molecule gaining electrons which is said to be reduced. A type of chemical reaction in which oxidation and reduction occur is called a redox reaction which stands for oxidation reduction reaction. As discussed previously, oxidation is the loss of hydrogens while reduction is the gain of hydrogens. This is explained by the example when ethanol, an alcohol, is oxidized into ethanol which is an aldehyde. Ethanol is considered oxidized because it loses hydrogen. Reversing this equation, ethanol can be reduced by adding hydrogen to it to form ethanol. Thus, an oxidation reaction in which it leads to the gain of oxygens known as oxygenation or loses hydrogen a process called dehydrogenation. See the reactions here. Now let's come to the oxidation reactions in the drug metabolism. Oxidation reactions are the most common metabolic reactions and normally oxidation is the first step of drug metabolism. 
all the drugs which undergo phase 1 reactions can be oxidized at some stage or the other in the drug metabolic pathway. It is to note that the energy in animals is primarily derived by oxidative combustion of organic molecules containing carbon and hydrogen atoms. Oxidation reactions increase the polarity of the drugs or the xenobiotics by introducing polar functional groups such as hydroxyl. Such a polar metabolite more rapidly undergoes phase 2 reactions and is excreted by the kidneys. Oxidation of drugs or xenobiotics is non-specifically catalyzed by a number of enzymes located in the microsomes. Such enzymes require an oxidizing agent and a reducing agent. Molecular oxygen acts as an oxidizing agent and NADPH that is the reduced form of nicotinamide adenosine dinucleotide phosphate acts as a reducing agent. Thus, all the metabolic oxidation reactions require oxygen and NADPH. Since both the agents have different functions, these enzymes utilized in oxidation reactions are referred to as the mixed function oxidase systems. The general mechanism or the overall stoichiometry that describes the oxidation of many xenobiotics to the corresponding oxidized metabolites is given in the equation here. During this oxidative process, one atom of molecular oxygen is initially introduced or inserted into the drug molecule RH to form ROH and the other oxygen atom is incorporated into water. Which means that in the overall catalytic process, molecular oxygen is split into two oxygen atoms but only one atom is utilized in the oxidization process of the drug RH while the second atom is reduced by two electrons to form water. Since only one oxygen atom is incorporated in the product formed, the mixed function oxidases are also called the monooxygenases. Quite often, the product of such an oxidation reaction contains a hydroxyl functional group, hence the enzymes are sometimes called the hydroxylases. Thus, the oxidation reactions of phase 1 metabolic reactions are classified into two categories. Number 1. The oxidations catalyzed by cytochrome P450 enzyme that is the microsomal mixed function oxidase system and number 2. The oxidations that are not catalyzed by cytochrome P450 enzyme that is which are not catalyzed by microsomal mixed function oxidase system. The oxidation reactions catalyzed by cytochrome P450 enzyme involve several reactions such as aromatic hydroxylation, aliphatic hydroxylation, epoxidation, oxidation of benzylic carbon atoms, oxidation at allylic carbon atoms, oxidation at carbon atoms alpha to the carbonyl and imine groups, oxidation involving carbon heteroatoms, oxidative deamination, oxidative decarboxylation, phosphothionate oxidation and dehalogenation. The second type of oxidation reactions which are not catalyzed by cytochrome P450 enzyme but are catalyzed by some specific enzymes such as alcohol dehydrogenase, aldehyde dehydrogenase, xanthine oxidase, amine oxidase, aromatase and alkyl hydrazine oxidase enzymes. This is the list of references followed for the lecture. That's all in this video. The oxidation and types of oxidation reactions involved in the phase 1 metabolic reactions. In the next lecture, we will discuss about the oxidation reactions catalyzed by cytochrome P450. Till then, never stop learning and never stop watching my videos. Thank you for watching this video.